How do we monitor the state of development of children across the whole population and track how it changes over time? Well, we use a tool called the Early Development Instrument, or the EDI. This is a made-in-Canada invention that is now being used in over 14 countries in the world. It is called a population-based measure because although we collect data on all children at kindergarten age, we analyze the data at the level of the group rather than using it as a way to do individual educational prescriptions for children. What does the EDI measure? Well, it has 103 items on it formed as a kind of an extended report card that kindergarten teachers fill out in February of the school year. And it provides information on children's physical health and well-being, their social skills, their uh, way that they relate to peers in an emotional way, their language and cognitive, which is traditional readiness for school, and their communication skills. Can they understand and be understood in the level of instruction of the school? These five scales map onto the three broad domains of human development, the physical, the social, or emotional, and the language and cognitive that have a lifelong impact on health, well-being, learning, and behavior, and are also the evolving capacities that are recognized by the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. Because this tool is like an ex a report card, it only takes about 15 minutes per, per child for the kindergarten teachers to fill these out. And so we can buy kindergarten teachers out of a day of their time and they can fill out the EDIs on all of their children. And thus, we can include all kindergarten children within a jurisdiction such as the province of British Columbia. Then what we do is we take the six-digit postal codes of the children and we place them in the neighborhood where they grow up. So even though we are collecting the data from the school, we don't analyze the data primarily by school. We analyze it according to the neighborhoods where children live, regardless of which school they go to. Why do we do that? Well, the primary reason is that by kindergarten age, children are at the end of the early childhood period. Thus, the determinants of early child development have been working on them for the first five years of their lives. And where do they experience them? They experience them in families that are situated within neighborhoods. So a neighborhood is a much more sensible boundary for looking at early childhood than the school where they've just arrived. Similarly, by analyzing by neighborhood, we can pool the data from multiple kindergarten teachers and thus average out potential biases that the kindergarten teachers might have in their observations. Then what we do is we nest those neighborhoods within a geographic school district so that we can understand the differences that make a difference within a school district. And then finally, we nest the school districts within a broader regional jurisdictions such as the province of British Columbia, where we have 59 geographic school districts.